All right, welcome back to part two of the video. In this one, we are going to dive into some of the settings in the Foley browser, getting that set up. Before we do that, though, there's three different accounts you're going to want to set up. The first is with Action Tiles. Head over to www.actiontiles.com, see the link below, and click that. And you want to go ahead and click right here at the top, click to dive into the app and start your free 14 day trial. You will need to create an account in order to use Action Tiles. So go ahead and create your account here. And this will start your 14 day trial. Now, if you're like me and you realize very quickly that you want to buy the app, at actiontiles.com, just click buy now. It is $28.99 one time. What's great about the Action Tiles license is that it does not matter how many devices you want to use Action Tiles on your phone, your tablet in the hallway, a spouse's phone, a loved one's phone, kids. You can have it on as many devices as you want. The only limitation is that it is per hub. So if you have more than one SmartThings hub, so at different homes, or if for some reason you have more than one in your house, you will need a separate license for each hub. Most people just have the one hub, so it's just going to cost you the one time $28.99. Next is going to be Dackboard. Dackboard, you just want to go to dackboard.com and you want to create a free account. Now Dackboard does have most of its features enabled for action tiles without having to charge anything additional. So go ahead and create your Dackboard account here. And once you're logged in with Dackboard, you're going to be presented with a screen. Now mine is already set up. So what you want to do is go ahead and click in the upper right hand corner here. There's an icon that's hidden. You can either touch it with your finger if you're on the tablet or click it with the mouse. And that's going to present you with a bunch of different options here. Uh, so you can uh, get your whole layout of how you want it to be, set your time zones and how you want that to appear. You can add calendars, your background, you can set this as uh, either pictures. Uh, in order to do different pictures from your own accounts, you would need to upgrade for the premium and there is a cost for that. But I just have mine set to be the photo of the day and to circulate those through all the ones over the past month. You can set how long you want the photo to change. I think the minimum with the free account is one minute. For weather, you can select your weather provider that you want it to show, enter your zip code, the units that you want to show, how many days for your extended forecast, and other different options. And hit save. Now, once you have it set up, you can go ahead and click the DAC up here in the corner. And this is what your background's going to look like on your tablet. If everything looks good, you're all set and ready to move on. And lastly, we want to show you the Fully Kiosk license. Fully Kiosk is 490 euro. I don't know what that converts to in US dollars, but it's not very different from that. In the Fully Browser you'll need to get your device ID so you want to grab that and then you can click through to get your Fully Kiosk license. Fully is a little bit different than Action Tiles. It is per device so each device you want to unlock the plus features in you will need to have a Fully license on. Okay now we're going to dive into the settings of Fully Browser to get them running with Action Tiles first time you launch it you're going to be presented with this quick start settings you can go ahead and set some of the stuff in here if you like I'm going to skip it because this is not something that's going to come up after we do a couple things and I'd rather people know where they can get all their real settings and one thing to keep in mind with the fully browser a lot of the features do require the plus plus is available for purchase uh, as we have already discussed now getting into the meat of Fully Browser, you want to go ahead and head into the settings by pulling from the left side and hitting settings. The first one we're going to talk about is under the web content settings. This is where you're going to set your start URL. Since this tutorial is showing how to use it with action tiles, 
you want to enter actiontiles.com in this space here and hit OK. Now when you start the Fully Browser, it'll automatically load Action Tiles. There's some other settings in here, but for our purposes, we're not going to discuss any of those. Feel free to take a look at the different settings available. Next one we're going to go to is under Device Management. So we go back to the main settings screen, or pull left and go to Settings, and head down to Device Management. Under Device Management, we want to make sure that Keep Screen On is checked. The Brightness, you can set a brightness between 0 and 255. This will vary depending on where you are having your tablet. If you have it in the hallway, you may want to set it all the way up to 255 for full brightness. If you have it in the bedroom, you may want to set that down to a much lower setting. Find the one that's going to work best for you. I'm going to leave it at default by not putting anything in there for right now. Next we have Unlock Screen. That is not available for Fire OS, but if you're doing this on a different device, you may have that available to you. Launch on Boot. We're going to head and turn that on. Screen Off Timer. We want to make sure that this is set at zero. That way the screen will not go to sleep. This will prevent the ads from showing up for you. This feature does require plus. The screen saver timer, it's up to you. This is how long it will show your action tiles before loading a screen saver. The one that I'm going to be showing you all is DAC board. So for right now, we're going to set this for 30 seconds. Under the screen saver URL, you're going to want to point this to dacboard.com. slash app and hit OK. Again, there are more settings that you can take a look at, but we're not going to use any of those. Let's go back to the main settings and head down to power settings. Under power settings, this is where you can set up a sleep and wake schedule. So I have experienced a little bit of burn in on my tablet in the hallway from DAC board. Even though the image in the background changes constantly, the temperature and weather icons at the bottom on mine stay the same just about, so I have noticed a little bit of burn in. So this may help with that. You can go ahead and set a scheduled sleep here. If you wanna set that for 1 a.m., go ahead and do O100. And the scheduled wake time, I will set for 7 a.m. And then you can also set up a battery warning here. So if my battery gets below 20%, it will pop up a warning. My tablet is mounted on the wall and should always have consistent power, but if something happened with the plug, this will pop up a warning and let me know when the battery gets down to 20%. Let's go ahead and head back. And right underneath power settings is kiosk mode. I'm not going to touch on this too much, uh, but this prevents anyone from leaving the Fully Browser app. If you want to be able to launch other apps within Action Tiles, you want to go ahead and leave this off. But if you're not going to be doing that and you want to make sure that nobody else can do anything, go ahead and just enable that. Again, we're going to leave that off for now. One other thing to point out inside of kiosk mode is down at the bottom where it says select single app. Now this is not able to be accessed from the Kindle, but when it does come time to launching different apps within Action Tile, this is where you're going to get the address field. The best way to do this, and I will show this later, is to install it on your phone and get the address from there email to yourself and import it into action tiles. We'll go over that in another video though. Heading back, we're going to go down to what a lot of people ask about is motion detection. 
Now, I do not use motion detection in my hallway, and it is a very neat feature and very cool to show off. However, I really enjoy the DAC board five-day weather forecast, and I don't want it to turn off of that every time I walk up to the tablet. I want to be able to see that weather. If you have the motion detection enabled, then as soon as you get close to the tablet, the weather is going to go away from DAC board and switch back to action tiles. That may work for you, and I will show you how to turn that on here, but that may not work for you. The other thing to keep in mind with this motion detection is that it is based off of the camera here. So if your camera port is covered, it's not going to be able to detect motion. It is also not the same as a motion detector that you have with smart things or a security system where it can see no matter what the light is. If it's dark in the room and the camera can't see you, it's not going to be able to tell that there's motion. So if you have this enabled and you walk up to it while it's dark and it does not switch over, that's because the camera cannot see you. To enable this, you want to go ahead and just enable motion detection from the front of the camera and then turn on screen motion. So turn screen on when motion is detected. You want to make sure that in the device management the screen timer is set for off, which we did earlier. Exit screen saver on motion, make sure that is turned on as well. And then under detector sensitivity, you can adjust this up or down, 0 to 100, to adjust the sensitivity of your motion detector. Find the number that works best for you. I'm going to leave it at default, which is 90. Now with these settings, when you walk up to the tablet, it should exit your DAC board screensaver and go back to your action tiles. Okay, those are the basic settings that you will need to set within the Fully Browser. Now when you are on the home screen and you click on Fully Browser, you'll be presented with the action tiles login page. When you go ahead and hit app login, you're going to enter the information from the account you set up earlier. Now once you log in, anytime you open up Action Tiles or the Fully Browser, which I've created a shortcut for, you should be presented directly with your Action Tiles setup. This is my original tablet that was already set up. It is running a different launcher, so that's why it looks a little bit different here. I will probably go over how to set that up in a future video. And you can see this is running the Fully Browser with a license. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful and enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next video. The next one I will feature more about how to set up different things within Action Tiles, different things that I've set up, how you can link out to uh, other apps that are on your tablet. Right now this is the new one that I'm setting up so these links do not work right now. But once I install those apps, then they will link out. So I'll show you how to set that up. And if you have any other things that you'd like to see how to do, please let me know in the comments, and I will try to include those for you. Thanks for watching.